Hello, my name is David Hallberg, and I am the artistic director of the Australian Ballet. My first program is a program titled Summertime at the Ballet. And what it is, is a beautiful program that highlights the beauty of the dancers, but also the rich repertoire of this company. There's the classical work like Le Bayadere, Don Q, Tutus, Point Shoes, the whole nine yards. But then there's very modern contemporary work. So it really shows how vast the repertoire is with this company. I think what's so important for me to present my first program at the MCA is that we're stripping everything away that gives a sense to the audience that we are hiding what's behind the scenes. Usually, we close the curtain, we warm up behind the scenes, and when we open the curtain, we present what we want to present. At the MCA, the curtain is gone, and the audience can see everything. They will see the dancers performing, some in costume, some not yet in costume, the nerves going, they're practicing steps, they're warming up for the show. That is something really special that is very rarely seen, which is a beautifully intimate experience for the audience. It really gives an audience a true taste of how hard these elite athletes work, how hard these dancers perform, how much it takes. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to share and a very rare thing to share as well. People viewing ballet for the first time at MCA can enjoy what is so beautiful about this art form without the really deep ballets that ballet lovers love to watch. But this is a program for everybody. This is a program for people who haven't been to the ballet and as well a program for people who have been to the ballet for years and years. One of my main goals as Artistic Director of the Australian Ballet is to bring ballet to the greater community and to people that haven't yet seen ballet. That is so important for me in my vision for this company. There's so many people that rehearse for months and months to get this on stage and to present it to audiences. It's not just the dancers, it's not just the orchestra. It's so many people behind the scenes, the production crew, the lighting designers, the sound designers. Really, it takes a village for us to rehearse and prepare this program to get it into the shape and the quality that we expect of the Australian Ballet and to present it to audiences with such a high caliber. Once you get it on the stage, once you open it, once you get the audience in their seats, and once the dancers take their final bows, it all becomes worth it. What has amazed me about MCA is the fact that a week ago, at one side, it hosts the Australian Open, the most famous sporting event in the world. There were tennis players sweating on that court. And then we have moved in, the ballet has moved in, hosting a beautiful program with gorgeous dancers, and it's a completely different arena. It looks so beautiful with the lights and the stage and the orchestra behind the dancers. So what the audience sees is everything in front of their eyes. The audience is two meters away watching the action. And in other venues and theaters that we perform in, the audience isn't afforded that opportunity. They're not as up close and personal as they are at MCA. And that gives a sense for the performers, a warmth to the audience, but it also gives the audience an experience like they haven't seen before in any other theater. There's a sense of malleability 
in the MCA that's amazing. It's really a special venue.